Do you remember the simple, fun, and famous game back in 2013 called Flappy Bird? I remember playing it all day long when I was a little kid. However, it mysteriously disappeared from the market sometime after its release. I would say in 2014. And I have barely played it since then. Years later, I have mastered developing games and various software. I decided to step inside my childhood and rebuild this nostalgic game by myself, hoping to fill the lost puzzle in my childhood memory. The game mechanics are rather simple, just a bird moving through pipes. Every time you tap the screen, the bird flies up. There is no actual ending to the game, as far as I know. But I'm unsure as I still suck at this game at this point and have never ever reached high scores. But you know what? It is now me who decides how the game runs. So I created these ugly sprites that I can use in a scene. I use gradients for the pipes to create the 3D look. Pipes are grouped into a set like this. One for the top and one for the bottom. An invisible trigger collider is placed in the middle for score detection. These sets are manipulated as a whole by the scripts during gameplay. I decided to use three pipes only and dynamically control their positions. This approach prevents the instantiation slash creation of objects during gameplay, which can cost some performance. And a problem arises during the testing phase. The bird can fly infinitely high and bypass all the pipes. The solution is to duplicate the ground, flip it, and place it at the top to limit the maximum heights that the bird can reach. Since the game is really simple, only two scripts are needed, namely Game Manager and Bird Controller. Since these scripts are unique in the scene, I used single tons to simplify the referencing procedures. For Game Manager, the updates coroutine moves the pipes leftwards every frame. If a pipe is outside of the viewport, it gets moved to the right and its altitude is randomized. The onScored method increments the score plays the sound effect and updates the UI text. For on game failed, it of course handles the UI and audio stuff. The pipes are moved in the Z direction so that the bird can naturally fall onto the ground after it hits the pipe. And finally, the score is compared and is saved to the player preferences storage. I decided to simply reload the entire scene in order to restart the game by using the restart method. And for bird controller, the script is even simpler. The rotation of the bird is set based on its vertical velocity. When the screen is tapped or the space key is pressed, its velocity is set to 7 units upwards and a flapping sound is played. These two functions here handle the collisions. They trigger the on-game failed and on-score methods in Gameplay Manager, respectively. And there we go, we have completed the classic game. It is amazing how such simple game mechanics can be so addictive. And with some optimization techniques that I learned throughout my discovery in programming, I created myself a clone of one of my favorite games when I was a little kid. Thank you so much for watching my very first video. I post about fun projects and knowledge irregularly on both YouTube and my own website. I'm Neil Flicker, and I hope you learned something from this video. See you soon.